And now, a Zone It 91.3, 91-second movie review. Five, four, three, two, and... Action! I've yet to underestimate a Pixar film, and I don't see myself starting anytime soon. So I definitely had high expectations heading into Soul, and despite a few things about the film that bumped me, Pixar managed to deliver on yet another incredible and timely story. I'll get to the timely part in a bit, but first I need to spend a chunk of my 91 seconds addressing the thing that bumped me. The part of me that was nervous going into Pixar's first animated film with a black lead was the expectation, mainly from trailers, that this would be yet another animated film that falls into the same unfortunate historical trope of dehumanizing non-white characters by turning them into an animal or creature for the majority of their screen time. We've seen this in a plethora of Disney movies from The Emperor's New Groove to Brother Bear and The Princess and the Frog. So needless to say, when I first saw the trailer to Soul, as soon as Jamie Foxx's character Joe falls into an uncovered manhole and is transported to the great beyond as a blue blob, I cringed a little. But while that does in fact happen in the movie, along with a few other narrative choices that had me nitpicking a little, I did very much enjoy the film. Soul managed to deliver a wonderful story with fantastic creative imagery that both entertained my kids and had me on this introspective journey confronting my own life choices in ways I wasn't prepared to do when hitting play on the movie. Somewhat inadvertently, Soul can help us reflect on what's been a massively transformative year that's caused so many to slow down, re-examine purpose, and appreciate regular old living. Cut! That's a wrap! 